Welcome to the PHA Client Portal. You can access this portal using a smartphone, tablet, laptop, or a computer. If you're using this portal for the first time, select New Users. Click here to register. Enter your first, middle, and last name, your email address, your date of birth, and the last four digits of your social security number. We'll press the Back to Sign In button if you've already registered. Now, enter the last four digits of your social security number, your date of birth, and your PIN. If you forgot your PIN, select Forgot PIN to reset. Welcome to the Housing Choice Voucher Client Portal. This portal makes it easier to communicate with PHA, submit requests, and keep track of the status of those requests. There are many tasks that you can complete here, and we'll go through them one by one. To see how much rent you pay, you can select Current PHA Rent Addendum. If you'd like to review the reported income, select Income Summary. To update your household income or family composition, select Interim Request. If you want to transfer, select Transfer Request. To contact your representative, select Message Representative. If you have already submitted a request and want to see the status of that request, select Request Status. To review your unit's inspection history, click Inspections. If you have a request for tenancy approval, select RFTA. There are also other resources and other requests available to you. And if you need to complete your recertification, select Recertification Portal. Let's start with Family Composition. This will provide a list of household members, including the head of household, with their date of birth, age, sex, their role in the household, and the annual income. If you'd like to review what income PHA has for your household members, select Income Summary. This will bring up every household member's name that has income and the income source and the annual income. If you need to update your income, add or remove a household member, select the Interim Request tab. When you select Interim, make sure to read the instructions that are now on the screen. It explains the required documents, how to upload those required documents, and signing your name. You will find information on what you are required to report and examples of documents you are required to provide. If you do not have all of the information needed to verify the change you are reporting, your request will not be processed. Now, once your interim request has been processed, you will receive an addendum to the PHA lease agreement. If additional information is needed, the PHA staff will contact you. You can report adding an income, adding a household member, change in income, modifying an unreimbursed expense, or removing a household member. So let's say there is a loss of income. All of the household members with income will be listed. You will select the household member who has a loss of income. You would check this box and need to provide proof that this person no longer receives this income. If you're not sure of which documents you need, click Required Documents for Interim Certification and the answer is here. Once you finish reading, you can close. You will then select Attach File. Select the device where the file is stored, upload the file, and then click Done. Now, the head of household must sign by selecting Member Signature. The authorization for the release of Information Privacy Act will appear. Please take time to read. This indicates that everything you reported to PHA is accurate. It also indicates that PHA will review this information and will conduct upfront verification along with third-party verification. When you finish reading, please select Done. The Capture Signature page comes up. By signing, you are confirming that you submitted information that is true. First, you want to select the Capture Signature button to sign. You then sign in the Signature box. You can use your mouse, your finger, or a stylus if you have a touchscreen device. Once you sign, click OK. Now click Accept Signature and you are directed to the previous screen to submit your request. Now click Submit Request. After you submit your request, your confirmation will appear. This confirmation sheet also provides the case number you will refer to when looking into the status of your change, a copy of the instructions you completed, and a copy of your authorization of the release of information that you signed. Please keep a copy for your records. When you click OK, the screen will include your case number. Keep in mind, that once you make a request, the system will automatically move you to the Request Status tab and show you the request you made, the date you made the request, the status, and other information. 
You can also make other requests. As an example, if you want to make a request to transfer, select Transfer Request. Transfer request types include eviction, owner termination of tenancy, personal safety and VAWA, reasonable accommodation, and recertification. Participants of the Philadelphia Housing Authority's Housing Choice Voucher Program must receive PHA approval prior to moving to another HCB unit. Participants must complete their request prior to the recertification or lease anniversary date, and this request will not be approved until you have completed your recertification. If you are reporting changes to your income or family composition, you must complete an interim request. If you are requesting to transfer outside of recertification, you must upload supporting documentation. Select the type of transfer. For instance, if your landlord is selling the property or just wants to end the lease at the end of the term, select Owner Termination of Tenancy. Please provide a good contact number. You may request to move if your landlord terminates or does not renew your lease and you have not violated your lease or HCV program requirements. For example, if the landlord or owner decides to sell or renovate the unit. For required documents, you must upload and provide a copy of the notice to vacate from the landlord or owner. You can provide additional information here. If you have documentation to support your request, please upload by selecting Attach Supporting Documents. Besides for transfers, you can also make other requests by selecting Other Request. Available options, Intent to give up your voucher. Only do this if you want to relinquish your voucher. Provide the date you're forfeiting your voucher, the reason, attach any files to support your decision, and then you must sign. Please note, you cannot submit requests before you sign. If you try, you'll receive a message that states, all members 18 and older must sign the request. So remember, click Member Signature, Sign, and then Submit Request. Other requests include to port out by pressing the Portability Request form. Applicants and clients who are part of the Philadelphia Housing Authority's Housing Choice Voucher Program must receive PHA's approval prior to moving to another housing authority's jurisdiction. Complete this form and provide the supporting documents and submit to HCV's Portability Department. You will provide the contact information for the receiving housing authority that you wish to port to. Select the reason and upload the documents to support your request. Attach the files, click Member Signature to sign, and then Submit Request. You can also request a hardship. Provide a contact number. Describe the hardship. You can select a hardship for annual versus biannual recertification, eviction, income, limit on interim recertification, loss of assistance, MTW rent calculation, or MTW utility allowance calculations. If you have experienced financial hardships such as trouble paying your rent as a result of how PHA calculated your utility allowance, note when this event occurred and how long you expect it to last. You can explain here the reason for your hardship request. You can attach a file to support your position, then click Member Signature to sign, and then Submit Request. You are also able to request a 504 Reasonable Accommodation. PHA is required to verify the disability of individuals claiming to be disabled to determine eligibility for disabled housing. Please provide a phone number, the name of the person with the disability, the date of birth, and other requested information. Then submit information for the medical provider or knowledgeable professional name, address, and phone number. Please provide a brief description on why the 504 accommodation is needed. You can attach any supporting documents by clicking Attach File, click Member Signature to Sign, and then click Submit Request. You can also request an extension on your voucher. Indicate why you're requesting a voucher extension. Because of extenuating circumstances like hospitalization for yourself or a family member, or an emergency over an extended period of time, or anything that would have affected the family's ability to find a unit within the initial lease term. If you need more time because you're looking for reasonable accommodation for an accessible unit, select this button. Describe the issue here. Attach supporting documents, click Member Signature to sign, and then Submit Request. If you want to send a message to your representative, select Message Representative. Provide your address, a good contact phone number, best time to reach you, and the reason for the request. An inspection question. 
interim question, landlord concern, recertification question, or a transfer question. You can also further describe the issue here. Then submit your request. Your request is submitted and the request ID is here. Again, in the request status, you can see your case ID, the date it was opened, request type, and more. If you need a copy of your PHA rent addendum, you can select Current PHA Rent Addendum. You can also print a copy by selecting Print. When you select Print, it will generate a copy of your most recent addendum. It will include your client number, housing assistance payment, unit size, utility payments you are responsible for, and much, much more. If you have a question about your inspections, select Inspections. This will provide the most recent inspection information. If you need more detailed information, click this link. Please note, you will need your series ID number and your zip code. You will get a reminder that you are about to leave an access inspections management system. You will need logon credentials to access this site. Input your series ID number along with your zip code. You are now able to view your inspection results by appointment. You may want to print out a copy of the letter of the inspection if you need it. Review the items that have failed, items that passed with comments, and any photos that exist with this unit. If you are finished with this inspection and would like to go back to the portal, select Back on your browser. Back again, and you're back to the portal. If you are in the process of transferring and would like to know if tenancy approval has been submitted, please select RFTA. If the landlord has submitted an RFTA, the status will appear here. You're also able to access other resources. If you're in the process of transferring, you can select PHAGoSection8.com for a listing of available units. This will list all available units on the Go Section 8 website in the City of Philadelphia. You can close this out when finished. If you need proof of income, you can visit the following sites. Welfare. Social Security Administration, Child Support, and Unemployment. You may also access our PHA resident services such as Family Self-Sufficiency, Clarify, and Home Ownership. There are other city housing resources, and PHA provides contact information to those resources. If you need legal assistance, you may contact Community Legal Services. If you need the services of a food bank, we provide the links to several food banks in Philadelphia. When you're ready to leave the Client Services portal, select Sign Out and click OK. You can log in anytime, 24 hours a day, to make a request or to check your request. Thank you for using the Philadelphia Housing Authority's Client Services portal.